Device roles may help you color code, but device types, whoo, that's a whole other thing. Device types add so much options to NetBox that I'm actually going to divide it into a couple of videos. Right now, I'm going to talk about the device type core settings. What, what, what are these things, right? So let's get back to where we were. I'm going to go back to the rack, and you can see that there's our MDF rack at Newport Charter. I'll click on that, and I'll add my device. Now, at this point, I've added in some device roles. Matter of fact, let me, let me take you and, and show you. I've got the, the different switches, access, distribution, and core. Uh, based on the Cisco three-tiered model. And they're, they're all blue because I don't really care about the color so much. I want to see the switches visually. But I want to be able to filter on, you know, show me just the core switches, just the dish, and so on and so forth, right? I have power, orange, because it feels a little, you know, like, like fire. Uh, router, which is red, it's so critical. The server, a dark brown, and then or, or dark gray, I should say. And then cable related, I just kind of want to you know, blend that. It's like cable managers, uh, patch panels. Well, we'll put all that inside of, uh, inside of that device role. But now when I get back to the rack and I'm adding in my device, I see that, okay, hey, I've got the device role, which if I look back at my rack, uh, looks like the top one is just that. It's a cable manager. As a matter of fact, if I, if I pull up the back view, uh, I can see, you know, spot number one right there, which is a cable manager, right? And it looks like some fiber lines coming in there as well as some uh, RJ45 that goes down to a, a 2U patch panel at uh, spot three and four. So, so good, good. Okay, so I'm going to choose cable related and then I come down here to manufacture and device type. Ah, another required field that is blank. I need to add these first, right? What are device types? Mm. This is kind of like the, it begins uh, opening the door of like, let's, let's see how deep this rabbit hole called NetBox goes, right? Watch this. And I think you'll start, start opening your mind as you see this. I'm going to go to devices, device types. You can see down right here. And it comes up and says, okay, you've got none right now. Okay, well, so device types, you typically will use, you know, this to, to represent every model of device. The, the best kind of IT environment is where you have standards, right? I use Cisco, you know, Catalyst 2900 series switches or, or you know, 2948 switches. I'm just pulling out an old model number, right? I'm, I'm using, like, that's the brand. So that's the device type that I would add in there. So then I can just add them to the rack one by one and begin filling out their attributes. So check this out. I'm going to go into here. And again, device type, we, we start opening doors. Okay, required field is manufacturer. Wait a sec. We don't, we don't have any of those. Okay. Back up here to the to manufacturers. I'm going to click on add and let, let me just add in exactly what is in this, this, uh, this rack right here. We have a set number of manufacturers. Here they are. There we go. I've got five manufacturers added to this list. Now, this is not the specific model numbers. This is just the manufacturer. Again, we're in the core settings of the device types. Okay. Now let's head back to the device types at our first device. So we'll say the manufacturer, ah, they're now there, is in this case, Panduit, right? And I'm going to say this one is a 2U cable manager, right? And again, I'm looking at the top of the rack right here, which is this. If we were to <laughs> zoom in right there, I can see Pan the whole rack is Panduit, but Panduit right there at the top. I can even see from the back, this is a 2U. I've got you know, slot number one, slot number two being taken up by that cable manager. So come back in here. Now, if I want to do the part number, I can do that. That's fine. A big one right here is the height. I'm going to put to you. Now, why do you think it needs that? Think about the rack, right? When we add this to the rack, it's going to accommodate us with the number of rack spaces that it takes up on the image back, back in the rack configuration, right? So I'm going to say, this is a 2U device. We can do parent-child status if you want to. And this is for uh, typically, um, uh, what, what do we call them? The, the servers and servers, uh, the uh, blade servers, where you've got the big chassis, you know, a couple power supplies that are powering, you know, four, eight, 12 different servers running inside of one big chassis, super efficient for rack space. Now, in this case, we're talking about a cable manager, so that's not needed uh, for this point. Now, rack images. This, this is funny. If you, if you look at uh, this feature being added, people debated this back and forth. Like, do you, okay, do you really want, like how, okay, really? Um, and I would say this is, you know, it's like a, 
if you've got a barn, you might as well paint it, right? If you've got images that you, you want to use for that so that instead of when you come to the rack, you actually can see the actual image in the rack, you know, whatever uh, SVG uh, formatted image you want to do, you can do that. But I, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to click create and add another. That's our first device type. Now, I want to make sure that you catch this is the core settings. Now, I'm going to put this on hyperspeed for a minute. I'm going to add the other models of equipment that we have in that rack. Ooh, let me, let me bring it back real quick. I forgot to mention this little checkbox. I kind of flew right by that. Is full depth. Uh, this is, does it take the front and the back of the rack? Uh, hang on, let me, let me show this to you. I'm going to uncheck uh, is full depth real quick. Hit create. And now I've got uh, two different device types. Now notice, I mistakenly said this 2U cable manager is full depth. Now, now in the case of this rack, I want to make sure that you, you understand, this is not a rack. <laughs> this is a two post uh, unit, right? It's it, like, it's not an enclosed rack. There's no depth to it. It's literally two, two uh, pieces of metal sticking up out of the ground. But in a, in a typical rack, like a, a chassis rack or an enclosed rack, uh, you will have depth to this. And then what you can do, let me, let me show you this back over here is go over to the rack. And as I add in the devices, you can see that, you know, let's, let's just say, um, I'm going to add the, the, uh, cable related device type is a 2U cable manager, right? And I, and I click in and create this. Ah, and of course I, I chose the top 42. It's, it's I, it, because it's a 2U unit. It's saying, Hey, you, you can't put a 2U unit in the top one. Cause there's not enough units there. Right. I'll click on create. And if I go back and look at my rack, you can see I'm clicking too fast. Now you can see there's my 2U cable manager. You see why it wouldn't let me put it in, in 42. You choose the lowest port number right there, but it's blocked out the rear. Whereas if I add in my, my edge router, let's just say this is a router. I'm going to say this is my edge router pro, right? Uh, click on uh, create and go back to my rack. I can see that I can add a device right here to the rear of it, right? I can see the color code being followed right there. Isn't this cool? You getting the idea, right? So, so I just want to make sure I call out that specific space. Uh, when you're looking at the device type, you know, if it's not full depth and you have a real rack that you're using, obviously go in there and, and make sure that you adjust that so that uh, you, can, you can adequately and accurately represent your rack space. Okay, I'm going to go back and create the rest. Now, let me pause the, the fast forward right now. You can see that I, I actually forgot a manufacturer. We have an HP server sitting there in the rack. And unfortunately, I, I can't tell uh, what kind of server that is. I have to go look at our, our pick list and our inventory to see uh, what that is. I see that it's full depth. Um, but one of the things I want to make sure I catch right now, parent child does not mean virtual machines. Virtual machines are a different kind of thing. They're more of a, a logical or virtual thing that we add to, to server-based objects, right? So if you're thinking parent-child and you're thinking VMs, that's not what this is. This is physical parent-child relationships, which is more like blade servers, right? All right, let's bring it back. I've got, I've got enough device types added right here. You get the idea. So I've got the server, which is full depth. I also have APC... Uh, UPS is battery backups for, for the rack uh, that are full depth as well. So now I can go into the devices and start adding them into the rack itself. Now watch this. When I go in and I now, oh, I actually, this is, this is incorrect. I, I, um, I'm, uh, I've, I've got this added right here as a, uh, a device, but uh, I was just adding it as an example. So let me remove this and delete this. Uh, delete. That's fine. I'm going to now, uh, th this is what I wanted, to, wanted you to see. Notice right here, it's taking me to the devices. So we have device types, which is the category of what they are. And then we have the actual devices. Now what's happening as I'm over here in the racks and I click on this and I, and I say, okay, I want to add a device here. Uh, like right here, if I look at the picture, uh, zoom back, uh, actually not that picture, this one. And uh, I, I zoom in a little bit. I see the 2U cable manager. And then right below that is uh, a 2U patch panel. This is the Levitron patch panel, right? So I can come in here and say device role, cabling related. Device type is 2U patch panel. Uh, what is the lowest numbered unit? And I'll say this is unit 39, right? So I click on 
create, and now I come back to the rack and see that I have my, oh man, I'm just really messing this thing up. Come back here to the device types, uh, because that was supposed to be a 2U patch panel, and I, I set it as a, a height of 1U. There we go, click on update, go back to the rack, MDF rack, there we go, that looks a little bit better. So you can see it's updating this as, as I'm doing it. I don't have to come back and delete it and re-add it. Uh, come back to the photograph, uh, again, cable manager and then ER Pro, right? So, so let, me, let me just add these in real quick. All right, so let me, let me stop right here for a second. You can see that I'm adding in the device type Edge Router Pro, right? Now, if you're, if you're sitting here like, why aren't you selecting the manufacturer? This is just a filter. So if you want to you know, filter down, hey, I only want to see devices from Ubiquiti because you've got so many device types, right? Then, then you can select that and then it'll filter it down right here. So don't, don't feel like you have to set this because it's more of a, uh, a filter for you, right? So I click on create, but here's what I want you to see. Let's come back to this rack. I see I've got all of these right here. And now when I go to the devices and click on this, I have these different devices. Notice three cable related devices, two cable managers and a patch panel. Now you can see that these are all unnamed devices. That's because when I'm, when I'm over here on the rack and I'm adding each one of these devices in, one of the fields that I've been skipping is the name. The name should be what you've literally named that device. And I'll, I'll give you what we name this. This is US1005-RT01. This is our naming convention that we're using. I'll click on uh, update, and you can see that it's actually updated the device itself. If I go to the devices, you can now see this device has been added. Now, that name has to be unique as it should, right? There should be no other device in our enterprise at our site that is named US1005RT01 because it's a unique naming convention. That's why I didn't name the, the, uh, the, the cable manager. Not only is it kind of weird unless I, I have pet names for them, um, but, but it, it's kind of like I, there is no name that I assign them. They're, they're not configurable, right? That allows me to create duplicates of these. Now that does mean when you look at your devices, you will see a whole bunch of these things that are just unnamed. That's just how Netbox organizes them because it's a logical object in the database. It's not something that we can just, you know, be like, oh, it's, it's just a thing. It's furniture. And this, this goes back to a big debate that they had and in, in what how we add those different things in. This is how we add in our different device types, but it goes deeper than this. Here's what I want you to see. We've been going in and adding the device types one by one by one, but look at this. I'm going to click on this device type and you can see that now when I click on edit, I see not only the manufacturer, the part number, that I mean, all the stuff that I had when I created it, but I have a new option that has add components. Whoa, that's where I wanna pick up in the next video. We can take our devices or our device types and add components to them, which begin creating the Lego blocks that we can assemble to create a full system. Let me just give you a sneak peek. Things like power outlets, because those power outlets will connect to power uh, plugs, right? Things like interfaces, because those interfaces will connect to cables, right? And this is where we begin tying all the puzzle pieces together in that rack and connecting them together. For now, you've seen the device type, the core attributes. We'll get into what I would say is the three primary components of them coming up next. It's that simple.